Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you an open source personal music streaming server called. I'm gonna present it how you can set it up in your own VPS and which you can store all your music collections and play through your web browser or through uh, mobile apps. So this is their website. You can open demo to take a look how it looks like. To play the music, it's very simple. Click play button, then you should be able to start to play with it. You also can use mobile apps, download on your phone to play your favorite music. You can see all installation requirement on the core documentation website. So we're gonna use in Docker to do the installation. All installation steps shows in this Docker GitHub page, the image and the usage. It's also recorded in my blog post which I'm gonna show you the link. To demo the installation steps, I'm gonna use my favorite Oracle free tier server. Since this open source personal streaming server code is very light usage on your computer resources. Comparing to other media server like Kodi, Plex, Jellyfin, or those popular media servers. So now let's start install it. If you don't have your own VPS, you want to experience the whole installation process, you want to experience the web GUI and how code works, and I would suggest you can play with Docker website to start your own free instance and then install on it. It's a very simple process. So once you start your session, you get a four hours to play and then you can add a new instance. Once you have a new instance, a Docker, Docker Compose already been installed. What you need to do is just copy the Docker Compose dot MySQL YML file. Of course, you probably need to change your password a little bit here. Let's do password one two three four for demo purpose. So once you change the three password in this YML file, then you can copy it and throw it back into. Save the file. Just make sure. After you did this step, you can go by copy the command you need, Docker Compose command to bring it up. That's how simple you can get it up and running. So it's gonna download all images and then start the Docker. So it will take probably less than one minute, and then it can be installed. Once that's done, you can see the AT port is ready to open. So it's up and running. Less than one minute. But one more thing we need to do: we need to initial the core settings, initial database, initial admin account. So last has been recorded in here, so we need to run this command to initial the first run. You need to know the container name and then run bash. After that, run this command. 
So we can do that. We can find out our Docker name. It's a loot dash co dash one. So we're gonna change this root dash dash one copy the command back. So now we logged into the core docker. Then we need to initialize this docker so we can have our the main account to be added, we can have our app key to be generated and then initialize the database. So simple command. So by default it's using slash music list media pass to scan your media and then add it into your database. We don't have it yet so we just leave it there. So now we can use our default username password to log in. Default account. Login. So right now there's nothing. So we probably need to upload our music to it. So let's upload button. You can directly drop the files to here to make a demo. I'm gonna drop off a couple of them here. So five files and I can add more. So they're gonna be uploaded one by one. After you upload it, you can just start to listen your favorite music. So this is basic installation using uh, Play for Docker. So I'm gonna also present it how you can use Oracle free tier to do this installation. So from the Oracle Cloud, you need to create that computer instance. And create one and you also need to choose the image and the shape. So we're gonna use Ubuntu. I'm going to use 20 to 04 this version. Select image. All other settings going to keep default. I already have my own key, so I'm going to upload my public key here. And all other settings will be default. Just create it. So there's one thing you may want to do is open a port 80 since you're gonna visit the core web interface using port 80. So in this way you may want to add your network security group here. If you don't have anyone, I already have my own common port open security group. If you don't have one, then you have to create one by yourself. If you don't have your own network security group, you maybe want to go to networking, virtual cloud networks, go to your cloud networks, and then you will find the network security group. Just create one for yourself and then assign to it. Of course, inside of it, you need to have a security rule to allow port 80 to be accessed from public just like I did here.
So my server is ready. Um, I just logged in using my private key. So I'm gonna update the system. Once you done uh, updating, the one thing I always like to do is to add more virtual memory. So by default we are using just one gig, so I add one extra one gig swap size for your system. So you will get the one gig swap size to use which can add more usabilities to your system. So then we have to install our Docker and Docker Compose. So we're gonna use those two components to install our core Docker to this system. Install Docker Compose. That will be our last uh, system requirement before we can start to run core Docker on this system. Of course, you can install Pertainer to manage your Docker, but those are optional. Same thing, we, we are using this file to create our Docker. Gonna change the password. Let's bring it up. Perfect. You can see we have two dockers running. One is for database, one is for our application. Again, we also need to initialize our database, create our default admin user. So that can be done through our command. asking or media pass you can just enter set it as default now it's ready we can quit from here now now we can use our email address default email address to log in now All other settings are same as we saw from Play with Docker. You can upload your favorite music collection to here and then you can listen it from anywhere with web browser or your application, web application or mobile application. There's two things you can do further. One is to set up your own domain with it. You can use uh, Nginx Proxy Manager to do reverse proxy for your own domain. That's the one thing. And another thing you also can do is to use Archron. Mount your network disk drive, for example, a Google Drive, OneDrive, to your local. And then you can put all your music into the network drive. But uh, 
since using R clone to connect to your VPS, then you can use code to play all the music or manage all your music on your network disk drive. So that's the further things you can do. You also can find out the related video from here about R clone and about the network proxy manager. I hope you got some good useful information today from this episode of video. If you like it, give me some up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please support me by subscribing my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Thank you.